Coming up next, it's a bantamweight matchup between DJ Dillashaw and brilliant Brazilian Pennant Morale. UFC Bantamweight Championship three times, and that included a victory over Uriah Faber. The 100th black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Andre Pedaneris, the leader of the famed Novo Bunyao team, Barão, is looking to put on another show tonight. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. TJ Dillashaw set to enter the octagon to defend his title. champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove he is in his prime right now his training for this bout has been perfect he believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title he is well prepared for this contest tj dillashaw ready to defend the ufc bantamweight title our tail of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. The Brazilian is 29. The American is 30. Barat will have a three-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb T. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Our round for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. This is his first fighting at the new corner. This man is a mixed martial artist on the holy professional record of 35 wins, 4 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Hannon And now introducing the champion, fighting at the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, presenting and reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the TJ Dillashaw! Ah! All right, so for the championship, you can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Bad good. blood yesterday at the weigh-ins, and it continues here. No touch of the gloves, and it is time to get this started. You ready to fight? Ready. And here we go. The bantamweight belt is on the line. Title fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. The first five-round fight in the career of Dillashaw was his fight with Henry Morrell, in which he won the belt, finishing him in the fifth and final round. Yeah, you can't worry at all about the gas tank of Dillashaw because he has one of the best gas tanks in the game. Full side control. Joe, that was well done, blocking the punch. He misses with the jab. Welcome to the jungle. 
He's been really effective with his jab here. Today. Good takedown defense. Nice job keeping those hands busy. Big hook blocked by Moran. Dillashaw's right eye. He's looking pretty slow. Very good exchanges here. And he parries it. That punch was blocked. Oh, he tagged him with that straight. Three minutes remain in the round. Solid jab by Barat. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. That knee did damage. And they're loose. Good left hand. They've been exchanging. Good job blocking the punch. Nicely done. Looking for the takedown. Wants the single. He's going to try to take the back. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. He's mounted him. He's keeping busy from the bottom. And full back. Nice jab by Barat. Oh, double jab. Doing a good job timing his shots here and landing a great series of punches. He's able to block the punch. There's the jab. Gillishaw's cut is getting worse, and it continues to bleed. Joe, he's really on point with his strikes tonight. Look at that. Nice. Blocked. Looking to shoot. Henning Burrell is throwing a lot of strikes in this fight. He's doing a good job of throwing punches and kicks from all angles here. Really doing a great job of mixing things up. Man, he's been masterful on the feet this evening. And he's really utilized that job. Five oh, minutes oh. in the books. Round one complete. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Amazing highlights from that round. Brittany. Ready. Second round. We continue this championship fight, and so far, so good for the top contender. He has worked so long and hard for an opportunity to be a UFC champion, and I think it's safe to say that so far, he's been the better fighter. Champ, champ. Dillashaw's eye looks so swollen now. You have to wonder if he suffered a fractured orbit. Very good job of timing these punches. Dillashaw with a big jab. Joe, look at how many takedowns have been landed in this fight. Trying to shoot. Good shot. Both men scoring points here. Very good job of timing these shots here. Combination by the champion. That was a nice jab. He's got the clinch. Oh, that's a damaging knee. Big straight punch. Combination. Jab. Wow. Oh, and another one. That hurt him. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. Oh, he's landing at will. Strong jab. First takedown of the fight. Champ. Nice jab. And Hennon Burrell continues to throw a lot of strikes. 
Pen and Brown's opponent has to do a much better job at protecting that cut. He certainly is targeting that cut. He's like a shark. He smells blood, and he's trying to open that thing up. Now, now he's on top of the half guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Dillashaw's cut on his nose. He's just plain nasty. Missed on the takedown attempt. Good jab by Brown. Joe, he's really utilized his jab well, and he continues to do so. He blocks the punch. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent block. It's a nice jab there, Joe. Oh, he got tagged. He's definitely blocked. Solid jab. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Now he's in full guard. Nice sweep. Going for the rear naked. Going to head to round three. Joe, that cut is looking worse. T.J. Dillashaw is bleeding from his nose. That's a nasty thing to happen because when your nose is bleeding like that, you start opening up your mouth, and that leaves you susceptible to getting knocked out. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. You can really see how awesome that round was by these highlights. You're good. You're fine here. We knew this was going to be like this. We knew we were going to have a war. You got a cut, but it's okay. I want you to pick it. The beautiful Ariani. Ready to fight? Ready. Start of the third round of this championship fight. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Great job landing the series of punches. Nice left. Good combination. Looking for the suplex. Tries to pass, but can't. Half guard. Let's see what he can do from here. Big punch from the bottom. Dillashaw's eyes are both starting to swell up. Oh, he missed that kick. Nice straight by Burrell. Left hand. Man, Joe, he is truly showcasing his striking skills. He's got to look out for those up kicks. Absolutely. He connects with a huge knee. Nice knees from the clinch to the head. Good kick by Dillashaw. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Looking for that head kick. What great takedown defense. Dillashaw with a good knee to the body. Missed the mark. Nice jab. Oh, oh head cut kick. Off the kick. Spinning back fist on the button. Oh, that one hurt him. Powerful leg kick by Brown. Failed attempt. Man, consistent use of the jab. Outstanding. He lands the spinning back fist. This may be just about over. Hannon Burrell is very busy in this fight. Oh, my goodness! He's out! He's out! And it is all over! Hannon Burrell! Oh, my God! Unbelievable! Oh, my God! Wow! Beautiful knockout strike here for the victory. Time now for our fight replay. 
And here we see the spectacular knockout that dethroned the champion and crowned the new king. Right when this shot lands, you see him go limp, and that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Stunning, absolutely stunning knockout. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 51 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Adam Barron Barron. is the new UFC bantamweight champion. What a great night of fights. For my partner, Joe Rogan, this is Mike Goldberg saying so long until next time. We see you right back here.